Here we are with the square dancers. You know, uh, square dancing must be popular because it looks to me like there's about twice as many here as there was last year, and they sure are having a lot of fun. Look at that. There they go. do see -si and all the men right and all the men left and all that sort of thing. <laughs> you stop that. Hey, very good down here, kid. <laughs> Oh, that's great, Rod. I want to see you square dance, Rod. You're not going to get out of this one. Come on, get some exercise there, big fella. Glad, glad to have them back again, the square dancers. And Canby Union High School's here again, too. That's it. Canby coming into view with the Canby, I would say, Panther. It looks like a Panther, doesn't it? Looks like 70 a, band members, that's one thing for sure. 25 members of the drill could team. Could be a Cougar, Jack. It could, I bet it is I bet a it's a Cougar. Oh, am I embarrassed? Am I going to get That's all calls? right. You're going to get you. That's right. You're going to get you. Can be. It is the Cougar. I apologize. Oh, my gosh. That's what's going to happen to you after that <laughs> faux pas, Jack. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> Can be. I have 70 band members, 25 people in their drill team. And they're performing tonight. They're just performing their socks off. Here's the drill team coming down Broadway. Broadway led by that mascot. That's right. And the all-important person that carries the water. That's right. You know, the, the water carrier oh, on a night it. like tonight, because it's pretty steamy down here. It, it turned out to be a wonderful, evening. pleasant night. But I'm sure if you've gotten the miles these kids have, they're appreciative of whoever's carrying the water. The DePaul Center, you know about the Ducky Derby? Have you ever gone down oh, there when they so isn't much it a fun. riot? The Ducky Derby has really become a tradition here at Rose Festival. There are a couple of them right there, the mascots of the Nepal Ducky Derby. Tell them how, how it works. Well, it's, it's really, really interesting. Deal. On June 15th, they will send out literally thousands of rubber duckies into the Willamette, and they have to, the, the ducks float down, down the river, That's and the right. first one to cross the finish line wins. This year, they have the grand prize as a 1996 Ford Mustang convertible. That's Not right. bad. It's a great fundraiser. It's lots of fun. And all the money goes, of course, to help the DePaul Treatment Centers. It's just a fun event that you really can get involved in. And there, there's a pretty swinging duck, Jack. I like it. Yeah. In fact, a couple of duck ducklets. <laughs> there they, they go. That's right. They're dancing to the crazy quacking sounds of the dead dregs. And here come the Franklin Quakers, straight out of Portland. There are 50 musicians in this group, 15 members of the drill team. William Martin is Franklin's director, and Brian Koo is the drum major, and it's Franklin High School coming into view. That's right. 50 kids in this group. They really have neat uniforms, don't they? Yeah, they're, they're uh, the drum majors, and uh, yeah, some of the other participants are dressed in colonial, uh, colonial times. That's right. Hope that we can get them to perform for us. When you look at the complexity of the uniforms and of the drill teams and the advanced guards, you can understand why, as we look at our school situation today, you know, community involvement is needed. The, oh, all this costs to. money. It's, it's, it's no longer well, we a luxury. We see some incredible uniforms tonight, haven't we, from all the different schools throughout the region? Franklin High School from Portland is here every single year. And coming up from uh, Port Townsend, Washington, is the Rot Rhododendron Festival Association. They just didn't send a float tonight. They sent really a whole parade. You're kidding. No, it's really an extraordinary thing. There it is, I love a parade, and that's the theme of it. Their entry features an entire self-contained parade led by an animated drum major. The festival queen, by, by the way, is Elsie Fatillis, and uh, Princesses Ruth Hodson are watching in the miniature proceedings. I see, it's animated. Isn't look that great? That. Yes, look at all the little... There it is. There I see. There's the whole parade. There's Astoria with Keiko, of course. That is really neat. New, New Westminster. Westminster. It's a kick, isn't yeah, it? Really it really is. It's a lot of fun. This I is the 61st year of Port Townsend's Rhododendron Festival. Every third week in May, this nine-day event celebrates the official flower of the Washington State. This is the first Starlight Parade, by the way, so let's give them a big Portland welcome for the Rhododendron Festival Association. Straight Absolutely. out of Absolutely. I'd say they outdid themselves. That's a pretty neat oh, animated one. float. 
Astoria Regatta is next. Now, this is a towering display, you might say, the float from the Astoria Regatta, which you'll see in a minute. Well, I just, I'll hold off for a minute because I want you to be surprised by this one. It's an historic landmark, a depiction of an historic landmark on this float. Rod is on the float, so Rod's gonna tell us about it. Rod, what's going on there? The uh, Astoria Regatta float, this is an event that I believe it's the 102nd year that they have been doing this. This is Queen Rochelle, and I'd just like her to tell us briefly about some of the things that you will get to see at the Astoria Regatta. First of all, when is it? It's August 2nd through the 11th, and it's a couple days of a lot of fun. You have Saturday, you have the Grand Land Parade, where you're gonna see a lot of great stuff. You're gonna take the historical homes tour, as well as go to Regatta Square and do a lot of, lot of party and go to the carnival. Besides that, it's a beautiful place down at it's Astoria. It's a gorgeous place, oh, it especially when it's sunny. It never rains there, does it? <laughs> never. Uh-uh, we never get rain. <laughs> the Astoria Regatta, that's going to be great. Kim, Jack? I like I like this queen, Rod. Oh, yeah, she's, she's a, real, a, a real good spokesperson. She's a straight shooter, and that, by the way, is the Astoria Column, the Astor Column represented on the float there, which they have just refurbished. Yes, they, they have, and it is beautiful. They've just redone the whole thing. The Astoria Column has never looked better. They have saved it for the future. That's right. From the past to the future. Is this still, yep, still the regatta, a story regatta float coming down Broadway. The Queen's waving away, and they just sound like a great bunch of folks. I know they have a wonderful time down there for their regatta, and they cordially invite all Portlanders and everybody that's here for the festival to come on down. Coming up right now is Portland Christian High School, straight out of Portland. It's 40 musicians from the Portland Christian High School, and what they're playing is really some of the favorite theme songs from uh, television shows that you might know. Let's listen right now. It's a neat sound, isn't it? It's a pretty talented bunch. They're made up of high school and junior high students. And the float was provided by Joyful Noise Music Company. And right now you see Gla uh, the Gladstone Chautauqua Festival. These folks are here to represent the annual Gladstone Chautauqua Festival coming this August, and Rod is on that fire engine. Hello, Rod. First four days of August, August 1 through the 4th, and I'm here to promote that and also to uh, <laughs> mention... Hey, here we are. We're talking to a gentleman about the Chautauqua Festival. It's, right. It goes when? Uh, August first through the fourth at the Max Patterson Park in Gladstone and we hope everyone will come. You betcha and you know uh, I do a Rambler Run show out there just about every year so you be sure to watch Rambler Run you get to see it. Back to you. Uh, Rod Jack. thanks a lot we got the message and here comes the al Qaeda Temple exhibit. A little clowning around courtesy of al Qaeda Shrine Temple. Now that is a ball. Look at Good that heaven. car that's incredible. It's always great to have him here and you know this is actually an antique calliope coming up, and it's towed by a 1946 Jeep. That's right. That Volvo, by the way, was all hand done. A beautiful job beautiful. customizing on the Volvo. And again, this beautiful antique calliope. You've seen this many, many times.